most of the stuff you're going to find on the market now uh, will have high frequency, a mid frequency, and a low frequency, which is that's that's pretty handy. That's cool. Uh, the high frequency will be um, fixed in a way that you know you can boost and cut a high frequency of your choice, and the same with the low end. The mid frequency band is usually what they call swept, which means that you can um, sweep through <coughs> the frequency range, but you also have control over the area of frequencies that you're going to affect. So you can go in very narrow, which is, you know, this weird thing called the Q again, a uh, very narrow Q, which will center in on one specific frequency with a little bit of overlap at the bottom or, or a, a wide bell which will look at a, a wider range of frequencies. So if we do that on this vocal for example I want my body for you. Okay. I want my body. Start a very narrow. You're the one that boost. makes me feel this way. And I can sweep through. You're the one that makes me feel great. Give you sort of a a wah wah effect, kind of phasey, flangy wah wah effect. Um, if I widen up the Q from that to that, we just start affecting frequencies either side of the center frequency, which is a little bit more musical. So if we go back, I want my body for you. I want my body. You can hear it widening. You're the one that makes and me it feel becomes more this musical. way. It becomes more natural. Um, You're the one that makes me feel... General consensus is a very narrow cue if you're cutting. So if you're cutting frequencies in a vocal or a guitar or whatever, make, make the cue quite narrow. If you're boosting, make it wide so it's softer, it's not as harsh. Mm -hmm. 